Hello, this is Annalisa from East Sussex, and um, here is your uh, my mother's voice. Um, today I'm looking a little bit different. I'm wearing a wig that um, from when I had a head shave a few years ago. I um, had my head sh all my hair shaved off. It was I think it was about two two and a half feet long, um, and um, had my head shaved off and somebody gave me this wig and I kind of kept it because I liked it. Um, I used it in, I think I've used it in my photo, um, my profile photo a few years ago and it's still up there. Yep, it is. Um, anyway, uh, I thought I'd, I'd wear this wig whenever I'm doing a children's rhyme um, from Monsters to Bed um, or any of the other children's rhymes I've written uh, just to differentiate them because uh, the other one's a bit more sombre and this one, um, these ones are a little bit more upbeat um, and not really everyone's cup of tea. Um, this one, uh, Banshee's Sonnet, um, is just a really short sonnet so I'm, I'm kind of just going to work through some of them. The first one I, I've discarded, the, um, the uh, first one in the uh, Anthony's Exodus, I think it's called. I've discarded it anyway. So I'm going straight to Banshee's Sonnet and um, I'm going to read it now. So. Banshee's Sonnet Belts, blankets, baubles, bags, beers, bangles, enticed a banshee into the bazaar. Amongst the bric a brac, a triangle hung tempting behind an ornate guitar. About to haggle for this worthy prize, a bumptious busker from Balaclava attempted to bamboozle her with lies, but made too much of a palaver. They fell to bickering over his tail. He told her the instrument was royal, but it was a blunder he would bewail. Her blistering temper was on the boil. An ear-piercing scream let rip through the air, killing everyone in the market square. And that's it. Really quick. Bye.